What's up, y'all? So, it's Christian, and I'm back with another video. Uh, right now, it is currently, it's about to be two, bro. I'm making this video because my sister had me up playing Among Us, so I'm just like, you know what, might as well like be productive and make a YouTube video, so, what's up? Here's me with the YouTube video. This YouTube video is not weird, but it is quite odd. Um, in this bag, oh shit, in this bag, this is a honey baked ham bag, but I can assure you there is no ham. But there is some meat inside this bag. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, basically, I'm gonna be showing y'all my dicks. Plural, because I have more than just one. That sounds really weird. Let's, let's get straight into it, because time is wasting. And it's 2 in the morning. I kind of want to sleep, because I have shit to do in the morning. Um, I'm a college student. I have things to, to do to turn in. Yeah, yeah, but anyways, so basically I'm going to be showing you guys my Packers, which is what you put in your pants to like, it's just a dick that you put in your pants to pack with. I'm going to be showing you all my STPs, which is standard P devices, so I use them, I use that to go pee and stuff like that, standard P devices, so I can stand to pee. Uh, I'm going to be showing you my prosthetics that I use for like sex and stuff, uh, literally, yeah, dicks that I fuck with and that I insert into vaginas, I'm going to show you guys those. Uh, what else? And then that's about pretty much it. So let's first start with Packers. Now, so like mm, the dicks that I have for sex are also considered ones that I can use to pack with, but I don't pack with them because they're hella big. But we'll get to that when I bring them out. But first, let me start with the OG. This is like the first like good Packer that I actually got. The ones I used to get were like off like fucking, they're like $12 off like Amazon type shit, like cheap as fuck. But this is my first real one. This is by the company called Real Magic. So here you go. There's like lint and shit. I have them in a bag, okay? There's like shit all over them. So, that's what it looks like. It's like memory foam, so you can like squish that shit. So it's like, yeah. This one's pretty sick. I pack with this one. And this one, it sticks like to my body because I put um, an adhesive sheet on it. So this is, this is an adhesive, sh adhesive sheet. Okay, don't mind the crumbs and shit on it, but the adhesive sheet I got from Gender Cat, their company, um, they also make prosthetics. I'll show you all their prosthetics, but the thing I love from them most, even more than their prosthetics, is the fucking adhesive sheets. Because you can stick this to the back of any fucking dick, and then it'll just like stick to your body, so you don't have to wear a harness or underwear. But I still do wear underwear or a harness with the adhesive sheets if I'm using it for sex, because like I be fucking vigorous, so like it'll cut, like I'll sweat it off. And it'll start like undo it. Anyways, yeah, I just wear underwear or a harness just in case. But this is my first packer. This one doesn't do anything, it just packs. Like, it doesn't have any functions besides looking like a bulge in your pants. Okay. Next, my STP device is not here with me. Let me go get it. So I'm back. So, this one next that I'm gonna show is one that I would use like on a daily, literally on a daily. Um, this one is by. I'm not even sure, but it's called the Easy Pee because literally it makes it so he's fucking easy to pee. Like I keep this shit if I'm going somewhere out like with the homies, like or if I go to the beach and like whatever, like this shit. Oh, this is the Easy Pee. So like you put this under your like anatomy and then like you just fucking pee. It has a hole right there, so you just like aim that bitch and just fucking pee. This shit is so clutch. Like I'm telling you, it's so fucking easy to use. Like. I don't even have to think about like, oh my god, like I can't stand up to pee. Like no, when I have this thing on, like I just fucking I gotta pee. Like it's easy. Like this shit say has saved my life. Like no cap, because I had like a lot of anxiety going out and shit. Cause I'm like, damn, I'm not gonna be able to find a restroom. So like I would just be dehydrated the whole day. Like I'm not even gonna drink no no type of liquids because I don't want to have to pee and have to go through that. But now I'm always hydrated. I don't give a fuck. Cause I can pee. So this is the easy pee. Um. If y'all want to use this, you can find them. Uh, just literally type in the name EZP and it'll come up. So this next one is by the Gender Cat, the people who make those adhesive sheets. This one is, I use this one strictly for sex, but you can also use it for like packing, but I would never pack with it because like, why would you pack with the dick that, I mean, you can, but like, I'm not down. So I, I took off the adhesive sheet, but this is where the adhesive sheet would go. And then it would just like, pew, like stick to your body. So the thing I like about this company, their actual dicks are okay. I can't see that shit. The coloring on that shit's nice. Um, 
But the thing I like about them the most is they have this thing called Amaze Balls. Like, their balls feel so fucking good. Like, I love me a good pair of balls, bro. Like, like don't mind the coloring like i think i don't know what the, i've had this one for like a while so i think like what's inside it's like coconut oil inside so i think it leaked out like just and it like covered the ball anyways but you can still see the texture like there's two actual like floating shits in there like bro i have fun with this shit but this one's cool um i use this i use this one for sex for a while um it did the job it's cool it's cool i don't use it anymore honestly i just kind of have it uh, it's just chilling. Next. This was like, this one right here is like the first um, dick that I've gotten for play, like for sex. So I don't use it anymore. It's like literally three years old. But this one is by Free Tom. And it's a six and a half inch. This shit is fat, bro. Jeez. Bro, like, I was fucking bitches up with this one. I ain't even gonna cap. But like, this one is a. Uh, pack and play and stp because it has a hole so like if you there's like a rod that you put it's called an erection rod and you put it in to make it hard i don't have it right now but it would make it hollow i mean hard and then yeah but if you don't have the rod in there you can just pee through it so you can use it as an stp i never use it as an stp because like it's just it didn't work for me like that shit would like the way the cupping the cup is it's like you have to like hold the balls up to you to pee type shit and i didn't want to do i didn't use it for the, the pee function that's what i'm saying but for sex this shit it's it did the job this one's uncut and then yeah the holes all fucked up because i'm telling you i've been using this one this one has been used like this is it comes with like a pleasure slide so like on t i have bottom growth so like my dick like what i had before grew it's like a little baby dick so you would put that shit right here and like i guess it would like feel good like just rubbing up against that shit um I never got to experience it. I haven't used this shit, but I, I've heard from other guys that, like, it doesn't feel like shit, so not too much to really, not, it's not like I'm missing out on much with this one, but this is cool for sex. Um, next, this is one that I got that I really didn't use. Um, I probably used it, like, like three times. Um, it's called the Bono. So it comes with this. This is, um, like a watch. So it goes into this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm terrible at explaining. It goes into this. This is the sleeve, right? Like, this is the shaft. And then you put this inside. I'll show y'all. So you put this inside. All the way. So it's like you can't see that the metal ring no more. And then boom. So this part is against me, like my anatomy. And then this would go into whoever I'm fucking. Um, the thing I like about this one is it has like a reservoir where you can fill it with cum loop. I have some cum loop. I don't have it on me right now, but I have, I get cum loop, you fill it in with a syringe, and then it has, it's, it holds a pretty good amount, and then you could just bust, like, it opens, so you could just bust, like, anywhere, like, shit, I'm trying to bust on your back, I'm gonna bust on your back, well, you wanna bust on your girl's face, you could bust on her face, I'm gonna bust on her face, and she hella pretty, I like, that's why I like this one, but I don't like it because you have to wear these special underwear, like, it's good and all, but I don't know, I just don't feel secure, I like feeling secure when I have sex, and like I do feel secure with the like so the underwear you have to have a hole like a loop in it and like you put the loop around it's hard to explain but if y'all look up videos of the bottom you can see exactly what I'm talking about but basically like it's cool like you just look down and you don't even see this part like you just see this like protruding from you so it looks so like natural and everything that's why I like this one and plus it has the you can nut um but yeah this one's cool and this thing vibrates you can control it from right here. There's like buttons you can press down right here and like you can change the speed, the like the how it vibrates and all that, the pattern. So this one, sick. I haven't really got to like use it to its fullest potential, so I can't say too much on it, but so far it's cool. I like this one more honestly for solo, like if I'm a jack off and shit, bro. Like I'm telling you, because it just looks like like my dick, like it's so fucking Yo, I think that's almost all the dicks I have. We're going to actually end this video off with my favorite dick. This one I recently got about, I want to say like two, three months ago, max. Um, this one's from Emiso. This is my most expensive dick. This one cost me like 500, 600, I want to say. Um, yeah, this one is like my dick. Like the other ones, yeah, those are my dicks. But like, this is my dick. Like, like I don't even want to show you. I'm kind of shy, like low key because like, this one, like, this my. Should I even show y'all? I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know. Should I show y'all, bro? 
Y'all gonna know what my dick was like. Hold on. Let me sip some Minute Maid because I gotta. Hold on. I sip the Minute Maid and I still don't know. Should I show y'all? I'm gonna show y'all. <laughs> kinda wanna flex my dick or whatever. <laughs> okay. This one right here is from Emerson. Let's see. Let me see. I'm gonna get close on y'all so y'all can see the detail, bro. Cause it was not 500, 600 for no reason. Like, look at the motherfucking tip, bro. Look at under. Come on, focus. Look at under that shit, bro. It looks even better in person. No cap. Like the detail. And then the balls as well. Yes, sir, ski. So. The balls move. And then on this one, I tried to put, um, what's it called? I tried to put the adhesive sheet thing, but this thing is like fat, it's heavy, so like it didn't really hold up to it. So I, I just use a harness with this. I'll show all the harness I use. Just cause like I said, I like to be secure when I'm fucking, I don't wanna like have my dick fall off like while I'm fucking, like that would just kinda kill the mood, you know? So <laughs> I like to be secure, especially with this one. This one's fucking fat. This one is seven and a half inches. Just in case y'all want to know what I'm packing, it's seven and a half inches. Jeez. But yeah, and this shit's pretty fucking fat too. Also, another thing is like the skin is like movable. This is my most realistic dick, bro. Like the skin on this hoe, bro. Look at it. Like, you feel me? You can see a better close up now of it. But like the skin moves, like this shit feels like a dick, bro. Like the head's squishy. Yeah, so with them with the squishy balls too. This one's my dick. This is my dick. No, this is actually it. No, like actually like this is my dick. Like dead ass, like on guard. Like this is my dick. This is my dick. Yeah, so this is my by far favorite, favorite, favorite dick. Like favorite bro. Like this one when I fuck I feel like it's me, like like I'm not tripping. Like this is my like I feel good. Boom the fuck back. Only thing I wish, bro, this would be like the person, the most perfect fucking dick out there in the motherfucking entire world, if it had like a reservoir to nut. Because like that's the thing that makes me decide if I want to use this one or if I want to use this one. Sometimes I'd be choosing this one because it like I love being able to just nut like, like oh bro that shit's so fire. But this one is still like the looks of this one takes the cake like i always gotta choose this one okay not always but i usually end up choosing this one just because of the fact that it just looks so fucking real and it like feels so fucking real and like anyways but yeah this one so with this one uh since it is kind of big i have to use a harness that's gonna like secure me so let me show you all the harness that i use with this so i had to buy a harness this shit was like a hundred dollars bro um it's a spare parts harness so like it looks like this and it has a, a fucking o-ring right here so like it looks complicated that's why Loki. i hate harnesses like look, this shit's Loki. like piss me off i'm just like fuck like, i could just be butt naked or, like, you know i could be you know what i mean but i have to wear all this shit like it looks crazy but you just fucking put the dig right here and then you like step into it it's not that bad it looks worse like because it's all like fucked up right now but when i have when i have it on it's not that bad plus i'll just keep my chonies on like over it so like a tip if you have dysphoria if you have to wear a harness or something just put underwear on top like because a lot of cis dudes do fuck with underwear and like i don't feel as dysphoric if i keep my underwear on you know what i mean instead of having like all this fucking harness and shit like showing but then again it just depends on what you're comfortable with like sometimes i do just fucking go no chonies and i just have my harness on or whatever and whatever so yeah but that's basically what i use to fuck you guys probably have been wondering and i low-key just expose myself and what is inside my pants but you know what fuck it is it's for the cause oh, it is what it is i don't know what y'all gonna do with this information but yeah if y'all have any <laughs> If y'all got any questions for me, let me know. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, please do not put my dicks on OnlyFans or none of that shit, none of that weird shit. Please, that this is confidential. Literally, I'm just showing y'all to educate y'all. So, don't do no weird shit, and we won't have no problems. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. Good night.
Hop off a jet, then hop my fucking back